Hello and a very warm welcome to Meghan and Harry News YouTube channel. Harry's court case is ongoing. Yesterday we saw him turn up for the start of it, alongside others like Elton John. Much of the toxic media, the same ones who Harry is taking to court, the same ones that are accused of telling lies constantly and bugging and phone tapping people, they are wondering if Harry will be visiting any members of the royal family while he is here. It states here, Prince Harry is in London, England, this week amid a high court hearing in lawsuit against Associated Newspapers Limited, ANL. The hearing is part of the case in which Harry and other public figures claim they were hacked. The Duke of Duchess, the Duke of Sussex has been photographed outside of the courtroom several times this week. Despite being in the United Kingdom, Harry likely won't reunite with his estranged father, King Charles III, or his estranged brother, Prince William. Buckingham Palace says that King Charles was not in Windsor or London on Monday, while Prince Harry attended the High Court proceedings. A royal source also stated that Prince William, Kate Middleton and their children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis were also not in Windsor as they are away for Easter. We also have this story about Prince William being, it says here, being dragged into Harry's court case. Again, this is biased reporting implying that Harry is dragging William into something that is wrong, when the reality is Harry is standing up against a corrupt and powerful force and that force is working alongside the firm. It says here, Prince William has been dragged into Prince Harry's high court legal battle against Associated Newspapers Limited, A and L. Today, Prince Harry arrived at the Royal Courts of Justice for the second day of the privacy case hearing. In court documents released on Monday, Harry claims his brother William was among the targets of a private investigator. Glenn Mulcair, who worked for both male newspapers in 2005 and 2006. In his statement of claim, Harry says Mulcair, through former News of the World executive Greg Miskey, provided unlawfully or legally, illegally obtained information and offered a menu of illegal services to an employee of the Mail on Sunday. Mr. Mulcair and Mr. Miskey targeted a number of individuals who they knew were of considerable interest and value to the Mail on Sunday, routinely monitoring and carrying out unlawful acts in relation to them for potential stories. This included Hugh Grant, Jude Law, HRH Prince William, Sir Simon Hughes MP and Elizabeth Hurley. So effectively, what we are seeing is Harry is standing up to illegal corrupt media organisations attempting to expose illegal activity, which he and others claims have been used on themselves, one of them being Prince William. So Harry is standing up against these organisations not only for himself and others, but also for William. And yet this article states that he is dragging William into it. Poor, poor William. What William should be doing is supporting his brother for standing up against these toxic media organisations. But of course, William is not saying or doing anything there will be no support from William or any other member of the royal family. We may as well just call him No Support William. So Harry continues to fight for justice, not just for him, but also for others, including William. And William says of doing nothing, while the media report on it as if Harry is damaging his name and reputation because his name has been mentioned. What a sad, sorry state of affairs. Then again, this is the same toxic media that the firm leak fabricated stories to, and they then publish as anonymous exclusives. For the sake of clarity, Associated Newspapers have said in a statement released in October when the legal action was announced. The newspaper group said, We utterly and un unambiguously refute these preposterous smears, which appear to be nothing more than a pre-planned and orchestrated attempt to drag the male titles into the phone hacking scandal concerning articles up to 30 years old. These unsubstantiated and highly defamatory claims, based on no credible evidence, appear to be simply a fishing expedition by claimants and their lawyers, some of who have already pursued cases elsewhere. But then again, they always say stuff like that in the past and end up many times losing their case. 
Let me know your opinion below in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.